Hey folks, it's Ivy Rivera, Psychic Medium, coming to you with your weekly horoscopes for all zodiac signs, sun, moon, and rising. I am a Taino Arawak, a psychic, a medium, and I use the planetary movements to help guide me in whatever information your particular zodiac sign needs to know about so that you can maximize your prosperity. Enjoy. Cancers, what is going on with you this week? On Monday the 23rd, there is talk of the sun coming out, shining on your face to reprieve in a situation or an answer to something that you've been needing or wanting for quite a while. Spirit wants you to make sure that you dance where and when you can celebrate those little victories and that peace of mind soak it up tuesday the 24th and wednesday the 25th we have mutual theme on both of these days having to do with delays in a project or situation due to some karmic dynamic involving the other people involved so if we were to say that certain situations don't always move forward as they should or don't move forward as planned because there are too many hands in the pot, this would be a perfect example of that. Is there anything for you to do with it? Not really. Just carry your weight, do your part, and try to be patient. Tuesday the 24th, Wednesday the 25th, Thursday the 26th, mutual theme in all three of these days, having to do with you not allowing energy from earlier in the week to get you down, make you unfocused, it's important that you keep pushing and that you understand that there's a bigger purpose to a struggle in a project or situation where you're expecting a pretty big piece of the pie. You're expecting a lot of prosperity to come directly to you. And so it's about the bigger lessons. Sometimes when we get involved in a situation, we get so embedded, we can't see clearly, and we don't see the other detail that's there. We are laser focused on the outcome, and this is not a time to do that. So sit back and ask yourself, what are the lessons here? What are the dynamics? How can I learn and grow from this? How am I learning about boundary setting and how to stay in my lane? There are all kinds of big lessons going on here that can benefit you in addition to the outcome, which will eventually be happening. Thursday the 26th, there's talk of love. And this does not have to be a romantic partnership, but for the majority of you, like 75 to 80%, it will be sun, moon, or rising cancers, depending where this hits you. But it's about a deep love or a deep relationship, something meaningful in your life. And there is a discussion going on or an examination of the dynamics within that relationship that feels pretty intense to me and very purposeful. Friday the 27th, Saturday the 28th, Sunday the 29th. <coughs> I'm, little, I'm like choking. Okay, and this is really going to be coming up on Saturday and Sunday. We're talking about closed throat chakra. We are talking about not allowing yourself to be silenced. And for those of you who have been speaking your truth, make sure that there is a change in the circumstance. So we get a closed throat chakra for one of two reasons. And that is that you, A, either are not speaking your truth, or B, you did and it was disrespected. It was not received. It was not observed. And that means that you have to go back and either do it again, or you have to set boundaries. Sometimes you even have to walk away. So you'll be figuring that out. But this really all kicks off on Friday the 27th. And that has to do with your money or anything that you consider a resource. Uh, you are seeing an increase, but you are also seeing a payout where you're required to invest. And so it's this balancing act. It's like, okay, here comes my resource. Here comes my money. And no sooner is it here, it needs to go out. Now, this isn't going out for something like repairs. There's no sense of treading water here. It's more like an investment. And Spirit says, be smart, dot your I's and cross your T's. Monday the 30th, and it looks like for some of you, this will be starting as soon as Sunday the 29th. There is mutual theme on both of these days. Uh, there's talk of help coming from sisters, friends, aunties, maternal energies, living in deceased but you still have to do something on your own. So while you are getting support, you are having to push down a wall, push a door open, kick a door in. And this is symbolic of huge opportunity. I do see you being successful at it because the universe is obviously supporting you in it and you seem to really have the guts and the drive right now. So kick that door in and right around the corner, we're gonna see the benefits of that. We'll talk about it next week. Cancers, have a beautiful week.